For the second time in almost 20 years, the fate of an historic bridge in Corvallis is up for discussion. Now, ODOT plans to tear it down, but the majority of city council and some citizens in Corvallis, well, they have a different idea. And KUCI 9 News reporter Emma Withrow took a walk on that bridge today and explains the controversy. The Oregon Department of Transportation has been trying to replace the Van Buren Bridge for decades. It was declared functionally obsolete in the 1970s, and in 2004 they tried to replace it, but the plan eventually fell through. Now, with the bridge seismically unsafe, ODOT says they want to get it replaced by 2023, and they have a $69 million budget to dismantle and build a new one. But some people in Corvallis don't want to see it go. They want to move it upstream and use it for bikes and pedestrians, but ODOT officials say that could be a bridge too far. Under the current plans, if no owner is found, um, it will be dismantled. And that's where the approximately $900,000 estimate comes from, from Federal Highway Administration. It and Angela says that 900000 is the only amount that ODOT's willing to contribute to moving the bridge to a different location, despite city estimates being upwards of $6 million to have it moved. The city council voted last night to have the city look into purchasing the bridge. Mark Shepard told me that keeping this bridge isn't just for preserving history, but when it's linked to the park and downtown area, it'll also bring in tourism and business benefits. But Shepard says without the funding from ODOT for the big move, keeping the bridge might not be possible. We we understand that this is this is a bridge that a lot of people really love and um, that's why we're going through the process of trying to find another owner to to take it and use it. In the meantime, supporters hope to see many more years of water under this historic bridge. Reporting in Corvallis, Emma Withrow, KEZI 9 News.